good evening. I am Kwan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. I'm going to do a general collective read here, uh, but really quick, uh, just to reiterate, I do not do personals as of yet, but if you have emailed me and requested uh, reading or personal uh, by you being in my collective, I may pick up on your energy and your story may come out. So uh, if a story that you believe belongs to you comes out still uh always you know um you know pray to god for guidance you know uh never just go by these cards by themselves all right but nonetheless i'm picking up on someone's energy here okay so whoever you are you could actually uh, you could be a masculine or a feminine okay air sign or water sign uh, but you're coming out as a feminine, like a mother type energy here, whoever you are, okay? Uh, it doesn't mean that you're a woman. You could be a man or a woman. But somebody had some type of falling out and has disconnected uh, and they're not talking to possibly someone they were friends with uh, in their ex's family, okay? This is a younger energy, a page of wands. Could be a fire sign. But either way... Whoever you are, uh, you fell out with and you cut off this person uh, that you were friends with uh, in your ex's family uh, because you feel like they lied to you. Uh, you feel like they lied to you about someone wanting to be more than friends, about a relationship of someone coming toward you that was meant to be, and it upset you. Now, really quick, just to talk about your energy, whoever you are, uh, you are intelligent, wise, and you're intellectual. So you might have, you know, heavy air in your Libra, Aquarius, Gemini in your chart, okay? But sometimes you may not see situations clearly uh, because you may be in the realm of uh, logic, maybe an overly logical thinker, I don't know. Uh, also... Uh, there's a part of you that might be a little bit vulnerable and naive and I don't know what but there's something uh, that could have traumatized you that you could be very fragile about a uh, love okay so when it comes to love you might have been traumatized in the past and you might be feeling very vulnerable and traumatized now whoever you are uh, your light irritates their demons okay so you must have some type of light around you. You must emanate some type of uh, high vibration, some type of energy that people, uh, they either love you or they hate you, okay? Uh, but you might also be dealing with some confidence issues, possibly due to whatever traumatized you in love in the past. Only you know what your story is. So what we have here is this person that may be in uh, your, you might have been in a marriage or a relationship with the King of Pentacles that you could have ended things with completely uh, in the past, okay? Whatever the past is for you. It could have been a long time ago, current, whatever. You could have an ex-husband or ex-wife that, you know, you're not with anymore, but you're still close to their family member. Now, you cut this person off because they told you some information possibly about someone you were dealing with wanting to be more than just friends and it might have upset you when you found out that that actually was not the case so maybe you're single and just date or maybe you have a friend or a few friends that you date or friends with benefits only you know what you do but you're not with your king of pentacles anymore whoever this masculine working hard working figure was in your life that you were in some type of stable relationship with in the past okay or if this is your father or your dad or it's a masculine figure uh, that you were connected to uh, that you ended a cycle with okay so you could end a cycle with a masculine figure in your family you know and cut them off uh, or because you grew up moved out the house or you can end a cycle with uh, someone you were married to or in a relationship with but either way, I feel like this person was a provider, okay? And you're a queen of cups. 
So maybe maybe this person was the breadwinner and you stayed home or some type of you were being taken care of, whether this is family or an ex lover. This family member that you remain friends with from your ex, they miss you so much, okay? This is one of your ex's friends or family. They really miss you uh, and they're not seeing the situation clearly and their intentions were not bad. They had good intentions, but they might be a little bit immature because they're a page of wands. It's a, it's a baby, you know, it's a kid. You know, I mean, they could be 19, 20, 21, 22. Maybe they showed you a tarot card reading or something or and was like, oh, I just saw your reading. Uh, and so-and-so, that guy you're dating, I promise, swear, they want to get back with you. You know, and really quick, somebody is of Korean descent and someone is connected to the NSA in some type of a way. Okay, I just needed to say that really quick. But uh, this person, you know, their intentions was good, but... Whatever they told you that was a lie, they didn't intend to harm you. I feel like they didn't intend to lie. I feel like they perceived something the wrong way. They got some bad information and they ran with it, okay? But whatever happened, it upset you and you cut them off, okay? Now, whoever this friend of yours is uh, with benefits, you may have a friend that you wanted to hold on to or they wanted to hold on to you. Uh, I feel like this could be a younger earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy, okay? Uh, but there's somebody here that maybe you wanted to hold on to, or they wanted to hold on to you. Uh, this is who the lie was about. Uh, this person is humiliated, okay? This person is humiliated, uh, and they're angry, uh, and they're feeling very smug, they're very proud, they're very, this is someone that pokes out their chest, their chest and they make like the shit face. You know, this is a very boastful type energy. The reason they're humiliated is because somebody uh, told them, uh, somebody told you that they might have wanted a relationship or something with you, when in actuality, this person doesn't see you that way. Uh, you may be friends with benefits with whoever this is, this younger person, but it has something to do with your ex-husband or whoever, whoever that masculine provider, that masculine older uh, figure is or was in your life. It has something to do with them. They don't want to cross their path. They don't want to because you ended a cycle with this older masculine figure that you were connected to, uh, they don't ever want to cross uh, the line and get in a relationship with you. I feel like this is some type of guy code or something like that. I'm getting an energy like this could be a guy or a girl code where, no, I could never be married to you or in a serious relationship. We can be friends with benefits because you know, I know your ex-husband, you know, uh, no, I, we could never, we're in the same community, something, it's something like that. So this person is angry because of whoever told you that there was a possibility that you and this person would have something serious and, uh, they, it, 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 they're ashamed, humiliated and embarrassed, you know, it, for whatever reason, they feel embarrassed about the news they got. This person is very smug, they're haughty, they're proud, uh, and they feel like they're using wisdom in just keeping whatever you have or had uh, low key. You know, because like I said, it has something to do with a girl code or a guy code where me and you can never publicly be together because I know your ex-wife or your, I know your ex-husband. We're in the same community. We can never publicly be together. It's something like that going on here, okay? And they enjoy the time that you spend together with them, but uh, they don't love you. They, you stroke their ego, okay? You feed them emotionally. You give good knock supply. So whoever this younger energy is that uh, either they're wanting to hold on to you or you're wanting to hold on to them, uh, what you are, the bond that you all have is codependent. They like the narcissistic supply because they like when you big them up. 
It's something that you do that strokes this person's ego and that's what keeps them coming back to you and attracted to you because they like the way that you make them feel about themselves, okay? Whatever it is you do, you make them feel really good about themselves. But they don't want it to go beyond friends with benefits, okay? So that's what's going on here, okay? Now also, uh, somebody could be in the military, okay? Uh, somebody new coming toward you, but this new person coming toward you could be very shallow and surface level. Uh, just want you to be aware. You do have somebody new that's coming toward you, but they're very shallow and surface level. So, um, you know, you might want to hold your cards. Uh, you might want to hold your cards uh, close to your chest. Yes. You're going to want to hold your cards close to your chest to make sure that, um, you know, you don't wear your heart on your sleeve. Because this is a shallow surface level person and they might not have your best interest in mind either, okay? So, you know, you just want to, maybe uh, it might be a good idea even uh, for you to do some confidence building exercises, whoever you are, uh, because you, it, you might struggle with your confidence a little bit. Uh, you know, it's self-help on YouTube, books, and everywhere. Everybody does things on YouTube nowadays. Uh, but that's nothing to be ashamed of or embarrassed or feel like someone's poking at you. Most of the damn world has issues or has had some issues with their confidence, okay? Uh, all of us need to or have needed to at some point in our lives work on our confidence level. Holy Spirit, what is the advice for whoever this Queen of Cups uh, energy is? Uh, whether it's a mother or a father, but I'm just going to call it in the energy that they're in uh, because you're showing up as a Queen of Cups like a mother figure, okay? Uh, Holy Spirit. You might even need, you might need to do a little bit of uh, healing. You might need to sit by yourself for a little while and just examine, uh, reflect on your relationship, past relationships, reflect even on your childhood. Look at take a look at yourself and see how you communicate with people, how you treat people. Kind of bounce that against how you were spoken to and treated as a child. You might want to take a look because I did get the Queen of Swords in reverse uh, describing your energy. So you might, if you experienced any type of trauma uh, that you needed to heal from or might still need to heal from, you might be still in a wounded space where it's affecting your confidence and you might need to do some self-work, whoever you are, okay? Right now, you might really need to do some self-work before you try to get into another relationship, all right, you might need to hang tight for a minute with this hangman energy. You might need to do need to be still for a minute and do a little bit of processing, okay? Uh, before you get back out there, you know, it might be some things uh, just within you internally that you need to address, okay? Holy Spirit, what do you want to tell this energy? Oh boy, somebody is in a really negative energy uh, and being malicious right now. The King of Wands reverse. Someone that's hurt. And they could be working with somebody else. Oh, you need to be careful, okay? Um, I hope this is not your energy. But it looks like somebody, somebody is really hurt to the core. They're upset about something, uh, and they're in some type of destructive, chaotic, distorted energy, and they're, they, they want to do some damage because somebody feels wounded. Somebody is deeply wounded, and they're, co they're, they're, they're collaborating to work with somebody on doing something to someone very quickly. Oh, my God. Cause an ending or a death? to an empress to win at all costs okay we're gonna have to get into this a little bit hold on holy spirit who is this uh knight of wands in the reverse who is this knight of wands in the reverse because somebody's collaborating to cause an ending for somebody and i got the five of swords and the death card and the empress 
So I need to know what the hell going on over here. Holy Spirit, clarify that Knight of Wands in the reverse. Neighbors. Someone incarcerated and an under... All right. I have an underage teen, someone incarcerated, and these are neighbors. You might have some neighbors... Some you might have some neighbors that are collaborating together, maybe working with an underage teen and someone that is incarcerated or in jail that's wounded, that wants to do something very quickly to cause some type of an ending to an empress, to win at all costs. I might be picking up on some new energy. Give me a minute. Who else is involved? Your dad's side of the family, someone in a northeast state, someone of Asian descent or Chinese, someone from a Midwest state, and someone of Eritrean descent. Okay, this is another reading. I'm going to have to come, uh, go off and come back on. So, um, but whoever that other uh, energy was, uh, were there any final messages, Holy Spirit? for that Queen of Cups energy, okay? Was that any final messages for that Queen of Cups? This is another storyline. Yeah, okay, so that is the advice for you. Look, whoever you are, whoever you are, that Virgo does not uh, want to collaborate with you. Well, there it is, that's the truth. Whoever this uh, young Page of Pentacles is, you know, uh, wh whoever is in your ex's family that told you that they might have uh, they might have gotten some bad information or some information that wasn't for you their intentions was not bad and this person is not being malicious or wanting to hurt you uh, that you cut off it's up to you whether or not you want to keep them in your life but their their intentions toward you were not malicious they're just young and they just got some information that what that they did not understand clearly uh, and they ran with it okay uh, but whoever this other person is that's a friend with benefits of yours they don't they're not looking for uh, anything long term or serious okay uh, because whatever your situation is they know who you were either married to or uh, authority figure uh, either your father it has something to do with a masculine figure in your family or someone you are married to that you're no longer in a cycle with but because of them knowing who that is they will never uh they will never love you publicly okay and that's your message all right i'm kwan yin and this is i have no cut cards tarot and i'm gonna pick right back up because i have another reading that's getting ready to start another energy coming out here